world it's jwp j word primo beats coming to you live from my bedroom i'll be doing some synth edit tonight today the stream for this video i'll be looking at the standard prefab from synth edit 1.1 specifically the 808 drum specifically the snare which i'm hoping to get prepped and pushed into the synthetic wiki. So switch over to synthetic now. And I'd like to shout out Sasha for helping me out to refine the project. I initially had all of the uh, oscillators wrapped individually with their own MIDI 2 CV because I figured the algorithm, the oscillator algorithm, had to contain its own dedicated MIDI CV. However, the algorithm does have to still be complete with the CV, ADSR, oscillator, and VCA, but different oscillators can share the CV. So for now, I have to replace all these HD oscillators with the standard. So I'll start doing that. Make sure it worked. Just need to make sure I have put and I'm going to save that. However, I'm going to save that in a different location. And just so I'm not displaying the whole total contents of my computer, I'm going to switch to the other bumper here. The moment I will be back. All right. <clears throat> Additionally, I've also started to run Git repos for synthetic projects. Surprisingly enough, as it is. And this just helps me organize my ideas better. Um, this is the line. This is markdown language. This is the code here. I want this to be on my front, so I'm going to eliminate this file here. And again, I need another BRB, I suppose. Let's do some, do some computer diving. Right, so I want to use my folders app here and I want to replace the readme. I don't remember what's in the readme. I uh, wonder if actually text editor can open almost any file as long as it's pointing there, so it should be able to open Markdown yet. So I'm going to replace this readme file with my outline. As right now, New browser window here. Right now, my GitHub. Hey, is this readme file as the front runner? So I'm going to zap. Zap, yes, and I'm going to delete the readme and rename this. I should actually be doing this all in um, 
VS Code just to sharpen my batch or bash bash skills. Okay, so um, I wouldn't even have to have to delete. I'll just make another new readme. And then <laughs> I guess I could have just used whatever. Um, so how do I delete this now? Uh, no. no help. Delete a file in batch. Let's see. We'll ask the browser. Oh, to file and batch. Command is rm. Okay, so we're in the folder. Rm readme dot. Oh, and now I want to rename. How do I rename again? It's the to rename mv so move um, move a wait snare out line to this is how it would work read me mark down wait oh, yeah, I need the extension here as well All right, that's done. Okay, so I do have my updated file in here. This is the fix, the current what I'm currently looking at. And I'm going to get oops. Get um is it though? Is it though? Let's check your save. All the way deep in my computer. Yeah, that's right. That's done. Okay, so git um, add everything and oops and commit with message. I prefer to use a long form uh, message being update. Actually, I don't even know if it'll work. Test first. Save. Test. Mm, certainly works. These are wrong, though. Uh, so I'm going to have to open up my older file, which is a work up on the bass drum. And here's the original 808. So I want the values. So that's 10.844. I'm not sure why this skips to. Twelve and point eight eight four and pitch is three point six four and keys. These are just the original values, so I'm gonna keep them there. Save that again, turn that off, back to code and update. In fact, let's do long form here. So we'll just go git add everything. And then we'll go just giving a warning that my line breaks will be replaced by Linux types, I think. Um, git mit, and then without adding any message, it'll bring me up the message window. And now I can put a long form message in here. So update, um, actually we'll say move, go eight, snare, load line to top level, and Update SU. And for the long form, move the 808 snare line 
through the top level to have it appear on the what did we say the landing page page of GitHub. Updated the S1 file with a more efficient algorithm using only one MIDI CV, two CV, two. Mm, that should be good. So save and then I close that. Control S, Control Four, and then we go get push. And the origin and everything's already all set up. So that should be here now. This refresh that. There we go. Now my outlines right in front. The outline has some stuff. I'm not really going to look at it for the stream. I don't really think it is updated. Um, <clears throat> it's given add more controls, add more you Define efficiency. Okay, so that actually didn't get. <laughs> wasn't quite used HD oscillators, so that got cancelled. That's gonna have to be redone. Order pins on containers and that's gonna have to be redone. So yeah. I don't line is wrong. <clears throat> However, I wanted to get those in. So maybe we'll just update this over here. Um Refine efficiency case, so we'll see. Hmm. Well, everything's pretty much go uh, except for it models, standard controls, provide copy. oscillators that has to come back out and push that to a later date just throw it in here and instead of number four we'll call this the first Later. I think that was actually this is the wrong spot for that. It's more of a brief. That can just stay out. Um, it's supposed to help me. I get making it confused. Okay, so both of these, I probably I don't know if them. Containers are well organized. Well, there is no containers anymore. So. This one looks fine. Actually, this is wrong. That's wrong. Should be good for a simple prefab project. Back 
this is supposed to be not there. Take that and save it again, and this will go into the submit wiki. However, I want to update this stuff. Okay, so pins are fine. Leave that in there. Step here. Create control section to reach your notes. Um, all I really want to do is here. Let's see. Okay, so want to this. Let's throw that. Here, all this that's here. Let's see, can there be a are these subheaders or what? Not even there. So these actually all need to be nested inside of that. This, start doing some nesting here. First, and this stuff is it there. It should be sub nested. I have another stamp. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted just the <laughs> what a headache. And I have to keep my track of my time. Uh, I'm going to keep that as a backup. Okay, all this, actually just this, so here, there, and over there. Sure, what's going on here? What's going on there? Another one of these. It doesn't feel like the most efficient way to do anything. Okay. Those are backwards. Let's move these around, I guess. These aren't supposed to have check boxes, but whatever. Actually, I don't think any of this was supposed to have dates. They do now, I guess. Because they're supposed to move out of here into there.
confused. Anyway. The I have more controls. GI. The thing I really want to do here is add this to And that will be called the fine efficiency. Probably no. Whatever. <clears throat> what else do I want to do in these sessions? Simple things, baby steps. Just Branding and header, yes. Since it's already up there, I'm going to pull those out. And more controls. Trigger note. Leave that in here. Copy. And we'll just turn that into a list. This stuff can go. That should be enough. But I'm just too. So let's get this pushed so that the outline's updated. We'll just make that an um, outline update. Let's commit. Um, the outline. And get push. All right, so now this file is ready for the synthetic wiki. Logged in here, and I have already logged in. Get some information. So this would be better version. Got to get the mirrors. I'm still logged into the archive. So, um, on my uploads.
bit slow. Okay, so the 808 snare. And I'm sure there's a way I can just s pull the switcheroo on this file. I want to change the files. Back, we'll change the information. There's a version. Let me see if there's a synthetic tape. I know there isn't, you never know. But I couldn't add one. That'd be interesting. Archive is such a powerful place. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so there's a way to just do pull switcher. A new version or something. Okay, well. Right click, control click. Delete files. So update, can I delete everything? Okay, we'll just add a new file. Um, sure, I'm already there, so I'll just toss it in. Like so, I don't think I have to do any more descriptional stuff. The current should still point to it, and everything else should still be all good. However, I still have to do the clouds, so I'm going to do a quick B or B, and I'm going to jump to the clouds. All right, I'm in the clouds now. I'm sure I'm going to have to replace the um, links for these. I wonder what's going to happen if I drop it in here. It's going to be like, you have to overwrite there. Yes, it will. Okay. Not on the place. And the Google Cloud. Old drag switch. Let's so I wonder if the links still work. Um, mirrors. No, open them in private windows because that's going to be the same. So let's try private window here. So I didn't have to change anything about him, and when it when it replaced the file, it kept the big long hash or whatever that is. Interesting.
Google Drive doesn't like it. Google Drive. Let it grind for a while. Um, so that's it. It's updated. Yeah, appears to be fine. I guess I should check it. Pass that right on to the desktop. And we'll just go ahead and open that. Now this should be looking fine. Yeah, that's the file. Interesting that it keeps its hash location, or whatever. I think I was going to have to redo these. So it's done. Prefab is up. So yeah, from there, we can get it here. And this will be the cut from here. I guess for this section of the video, I'm going to continue looking about. Well, I gotta jump back with my bumper. So I'm going to be refining the 808 snare a little bit. Perhaps do some efficiency testing with the HD oscillator. It's the HD oscillator wouldn't be included with the that wiki prefab because the HD oscillator isn't included with the the Vanilla version of Synthetic. A little tired. Okay, so into Synthetic here, I'm going to switch out to these again. <coughs> Check my mic here. Uh, no, gotta exit this. Start it. It is mic views. Yes, and we'll turn it on. Sure, my headset is selected. What am I doing for time? Well, that was a cut, I guess. So I'll replace this, these oscillators. Maybe I'll get some time in for this. Okay, so and I'm going to copy this over. Oops. What do you mean? I can't. I'm not trying to. There. So that's the old one. Standard oscillator. Now I want to swap mode. We'll go right more. Replace and community. Uh, under production. HD oscillator. Replace, replace, replace. I just want to make sure that the oscillators are set right. This is white noise, yes. Sign, sign. Now I want to pull the output because I want the disable pin to be on the bottom of the top level. Keep my pins organized. Then we'll drop this here. And that's pretty much it for that. So I get back to my uh, I uh, get system here and cross that off. So that's done. However, before moving on to anything else, I want to do some efficiency testing. So this will probably go under labs and the synthetic wiki. How am I going to do this? I'm obviously going to need a pylon and an anchor. So we'll start with a pylon. Uh, I'll make it from this side. Okay, so I'm going to containerize this. And we'll start here and over there. The things still stay in line. Cut this. And drop the pylon. Oh, what did I lose? Nothing, I think. 
somehow disable ended up over there. But I think because it was never yeah, because it had a boat lead. And where's my influence? I lost. So now I gotta put it back. Um, is it here? So I will make a that. Copy this as a label. I gotta pull pins. Organizing and here, not sure. I guess we have the outside pin. Suppose so now I want this there. This is velocity influence. Which isn't incorporated. Now I can put disables back. Of course, the velocity influence is supposed to go here. However, this is there, and yeah, it's not happening right now. So there, I want this. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. Okay, okay, pitch. Then velocity influence. That's not going to be blue. So. Well, if this is just a test, I don't really need it. This is just an efficiency test. Actually, I don't need much of anything. But let's add it in for completion's sake. Um, I am missing my... Uh, Disable. Okay, so disable there. I'll start dropping these in here. Pull that here. IO. Mod. All right, so now this can be wired in. Okay. This out. Uncontainerize this stuff. And I have my, this would be an anchor. Pylon. Pylon. Okay. Okay. So I'm do that again. Uh, the copy. Yeah, and I'll containerize this again. And I didn't want it to containerize with that. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the plug here. And add another one. Can okay, call this. Um, wait. Hard lines. Anchor. Uh, we'll pull to anchor. And there's no GUI on there, so I don't need to do controls on module. And additionally, because there wasn't really much going on, I don't think I even really need to campaignerize this. Okay. 
Anyway, alright. I need another anchor. This one will be from the bottom one. And there's no disable. Okay, so the drum project has, look at it, <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 drum hits. And let's say about 5, 5, we'll say 5 synthesis. Techniques per module per hit five synthesis techniques. It'd actually be quite a bit more than that. However, we'll go with ten. I guess it's going to be a lot of load. Perhaps maybe even I'll just cheat and gut that. Uh, that doesn't make any sense though. It will save me from wiring. So yeah, I think I'll just cheat and gut. Copy and gut. There is no point in making the other one. Okay, so two, so two. Four. Again, this is uh, all DSP, so. Need controls on parents. These extra controls are actually just stuff that wasn't available. I just kind of propped them up to the top. And I want to save. We'll save this as. I should see test. I can't see. N C E this. And I'm not gonna push this to should I? Might as well. Might be a big file though. A few kilobytes. <laughs> I don't know if GitHub can handle it. Okay, so that's four. What I'm gonna do now is take two out and copy these ones. So remember that I have to make a I have to make thumbnail graphics. So I might start considering some concepts. Concept works. All 
All right, so that's 10 wired in with the key oscillator, which has a disable. All right, so, and now I want this. Actually, we need this anchor. This anchor. Let's wire that in with pylon. And in this case, disable does not translate. Oof. It's about, um, Yes, here. Let's drop that. I am not gonna be unwiring, so what's the point of unwiring there? Right. <clears throat> I'm gonna get in here. Um, um, yeah, I forgot about the outputs. Okay, well, didn't do much. So let's drop that first. I want to make sure the output's there in case um, I'm not 100% sure how synthetic would see the downstream. Like it has to have a output downstream, otherwise it's not going to activate anyway. So it'd be hella loud though. Perhaps maybe I should get this data. A divisional. Yeah, let's make a divisional. So we can have some sound. Use multiply as the divisional. Okay, so there to there. No, come on. There, we'll get rid of those. Sure. Uh, there. So and then we'll multiply that by what? 0.1, right? It'll be a tenth. Divided by 10. And that goes out. Now I can copy all that. And in. So it doesn't really matter. Um, it's done. Okay, so now what I want to do on the safe side, I don't know how well this is gonna work. Me hmm. No, I'll just risk it. Easier to risk it faster. I'm just gonna jump in here. I'm going to start replacing these standard also here. Place, waveform, waveform, no, waveform, slider, okay, replace, place, replace, and hopefully we're in the next one. If not, I'll save it. I'll save now. No clue where I am exactly. If I have like a small window, it'll open another small window. It still won't show me where I am. Okay, so of two. Say of two. Yeah, please. 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 Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I must have looped back around from the top. I 
So these are the originals, this is the new one. Check the last one. No. Okay. Remove them from somewhere else. Goriskin lost. I'm not sure where it pulled them. Maybe the second last one. No, I have no clue where it pulled them. So I'm just going to refresh the file here. No, oh, and only the first one should be here. Let's go back to normal. Um, I want the new view. So just this one contains the standard oscillator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and just leave it in the clipboard. Okay, I'll get it back. Okay, so then I want the second one. And replace the oscillator. Two of three. Four, five, six, seven, <clears throat> eight, nine. So these are all placed now. Back in my clipboard stuff. These are all the new oscillator. And let's pile on back, connect it. Start the test, I imagine. I'm just going to put the outputs. And the test is actually pretty dry. Um, I need my. Oh, it's still here? No. This. <clears throat> and this is off. It has to be one. Maybe it's here. We'll have to put some containers just so I can read the debug. All right, here's the test. So the top one has 10 HD oscillators with the disable. The bottom one is the standard oscillators. So the idea here is to see how well the HD oscillator turns off, if at all. Because the regular oscillator, even though it sleeps, it still kind of perks up every once in a while. Whereas I imagine the HD oscillator is supposed to sleep and stay asleep. So let's go ahead and turn that on. Save first. All right, so the standard oscillators, 10 of them, are running at one. And that's off, they're not doing anything. If I was to, uh, this, I was to trigger them, they would probably ramp up quite a bit. So I'm going to shrink this in a bit so my debug window doesn't take off. Yeah, they're ramping up. Of course, you can't hear anything because it's not output. So, output, I do have a that uh, multiplier dividing them by 10. It just sounds like one. Right, and then we're going to look at the 
HD oscillator, of course, there shouldn't be too much change. It's at the bottom, because it is still, in fact, on. Actually, greedier. Wow, was that ever greedier. I wasn't expecting that. Um, why? Is there free run, I think, maybe? Oh, I didn't even think of that. It's because of this, I think, free run versus sync. Incomparable tests. They also don't have um, Gibbs and stuff. Right? Yeah, it's been weeks. It's weird. Strange. Anyway, the idea here is not the running speed, but the uh, what happens when it's turned off. So, this is nothing happening. You should be sleeping. Comparison, you're pretty comparable. Yeah, they're almost exact. Pretty much. All right. I don't know why I was looking at the numbers when there's graphs there. It actually looks like the uh, regular oscillator. Oscillator is less, but then again, that's because of the free run. So let's crank the number last time here. Yeah. Now we're going to turn off the issue oscillators. And as I expected, they don't, they don't sleep. Wait a minute, that's not right. Shouldn't be activating. They're activating less, it looks like. And if they're on, then they are on. What's going on here? Let's increase the decay some. Oh, it's a toggle, that's fine. All right, see? Bigger. So it's channel one. Off. So they behave pretty much the same as the standard oscillator. Even with disable. I mean, that little bit doesn't seem like much, but like I said, with um, the drums, it's 15, it's at least five different, you know, pieces, and I want different synthesis types, so I'm not even sure how that is. Anyway, let's look at ramping that number way up. Can I do that? Well, start in the bottom. It's because it's on the bottom. Again, I'll drop two more off to the side. I'll double this.
All right, so that's effectively a hundred standard oscillators. Oh, I guess I can wire them in now. Wire them out rather. Two off to the side. Two. And I forgot last time here to add the multiplier or the divider. The multiplier that divides. So the output isn't 10 times. Okay, so where are these boots? Exciting stuff. So, yeah. Again, so this is 100 HD oscillators, and this is 100 standard oscillators. And again, I need to containerize them to save. I see some, that it slows down when there's lots going on. Sorry, yeah, those are only DSP too. I don't think there's any GUI or patch memory, so I think it's this here.
this one thing is contributing to oh yeah, plus there's all these controls. So those count as patch memories as well. All right. So rise. And I don't want it to bug that much. Um in rise. Save. And we'll bring it online. So standard oscillator. I don't want to mute it. It's really just muted. Okay. One bug. One more debug. Four. And debug. Point four seconds. And. Twenty five per cent. Okay, turned off. Five per cent. Still, that's quite a bit. Five per cent for idle, not doing anything oscillators. So imagine really uh really have them turned off like because what's happening here is the trigger it's the trigger really there's no way to there's no way to switch a MIDI so a third party module that's coming in from outside source. So it's going to like turn off the uh, switch, but the switch is in fact a MIDI signal, and there's no way to switch a MIDI signal. I mean, I guess because I'm pushing the button, it's really the gate. So effectively, not having a trigger. Is more effective than an on off button. Unfortunately, there's no MIDI switch. I mean, I could break it down. It would even work. I mean, it sounds kind of a little redundant. What I mean by break it down would be a MIDI to CV. Yeah. Oh, I don't. It's gonna make me click this like a million times. It's like two hundred times. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's so awful. I wonder if I could save in between. Oh, I sent that it sometimes here. A monster. Okay. Turn it off. Now what I was gonna say is that I could interrupt it. There's no trigger there, that's right too. So the would have to be downstream. There's it's not possible to interrupt the MIDI to CV. Either way, breaking the trick is more effective than an on off switch. And I'm curious to see this live, like in practical application. I'm already at a minute 15 or an hour 15. So, yeah, I mean, I could demonstrate it straightforward, simple. One to many. I need to one. Not too many. Not too many. So let's go here. Cut that paste and paste. I'm gonna save 
And hopefully this doesn't set off the uh, warning. Instead of like an upstream one, downstream one. And went to many, this would be that one, and that one will be this one. And the choice list. Century. Yeah. Okay, so this is top one is HD and the bottom one is called as SD. <coughs> I just demonstrated that using a switch is better than this this disable pin because of its inability to sleep properly. Or its inability not to sleep, because that's sleep that's fine. However, I need it to totally cut out. So on. Twenty-five, thirty percent. That's just the HD. Even the SD is still kind of. Oh, it's just it's sleeping. See, it's not responding to the trigger because yeah, the trigger's not routing through it, even though the switch is in the way. Even though it's still rounded about the switch. So if I switch the SD, yeah, see it's. However, with the off switch, it's still going to respond, right? So like five percent. I mean that's a hundred oscillators still. Imagine if I had, you know, one drum slot and that one drum slot could have a selection between a bass drum, a snare drum, any of the you know, synthesis techniques, and you have what fifteen slots, fifteen inserts. So it's fifteen by fifteen, essentially, which is what? Calculator. I don't want to do math. My brain is pull up, pull up my uh, on-screen keyboard and do math. <laughs> fifteen. Fifteen. Two hundred twenty-five. And that's just one synthesis technique for one insert. Now imagine like five different synthesis techniques for the bass stream, and then you have that across you know the five or the fifteen slots. And then all the other drums inside sitting in beside that slot. So, yeah, the numbers start to tally. The numbers start to climb to that 100 range. And this disable switch does nothing. Really? So that's it for that. So I will be back with a live test because I'm curious to see how the system will react to 100 oscillators. And the demonstration file will be here. This, and I have to create the lab and all that stuff, but I'll create the lab later, eventually, I mean. That's how it's going to be like a oscillator selection. Oscillator, oscillator selection. Yeah. I will be back in a bit just to do the live test, and that'll be a very short stream video segment. Until next time.